Not everyone's going to make it, man. And that's okay. Not everyone wants to do the little steps. Because at first it seems very overwhelming. Sitting down to meditate is hard. For five minutes, that's all the challenge was this week. And you know what? Some people can't sit down for five minutes. We're too distracted. It's hard to sit in silence without anything going on and just observe your thoughts. That little act right there can change your life. And yet people just blow it off. They don't need meditation, but you know what they do need? They need the next YouTube video, the next book, but the meditation, dude, something so simple, something so basic that's been practiced for thousands of years goes over the heads of a lot of people. I'm telling you, do it, sit down, teach yourself that discipline. It will become a part of you. You will become more grounded. You will become level-headed. Things in your life will not bother you as much. And uh, stop looking for something. When you're meditating, stop, stop saying, oh man, I'm sit Eli told me to sit down. I'm, here I am. I'm sitting down. But I, you know what? When a hot girl passes me by, I'm still getting... I'm still feeling a little anxious. Is it not working? No, that's not, don't go into it like that. Meditate, it's like mental flossing, man. All right, do it, continue to do it. You can start doing it for 10 minutes and then 15, maybe even 20, all right? But let it become a habit of your life. If you develop one habit, start by being able to return to how you were meant to be in this childlike state, presence. That's all, man. All right, so look, most people don't want to do these basic things. Most people don't want to train at all. Zero working out. They don't see the point in working out. A lot of guys will say they're ugly, too short, can't work out. What's the point? Bigger biceps aren't going to make me attractive to girls. Getting the abs. Look, man, you need to be training. You need to be in the gym or you need to be doing some sort of physical exercise. Mentally, you're going to function leagues ahead. When you do not walk or run or move or lift weights for like a couple of days, it's over, man. You sit at your desk, you start developing this posture, forehead tilt, everything, your gut starts to come out, your shoulders cave in, it's over. Your breathing becomes heavy. You start breathing here, less in the diaphragm, sayonara. You will have more anxiety. It'll you'll be up here in here because this and this are one. You guys got to get that. So it's this. Elliot Hulse used to talk about catharsis when you are stretching when you're working out. It's a release of the inside tension. You guys got to be lifting weights, okay? You got to be doing some basic weight training or calisthenics, body movements, push-ups. If you can't do any pull-ups, just get on the bar and hang. Sit in a squat position. All right, do some primal movement. Move your body. Basic. I can't. Everyone wants a program. Everyone wants a a, a new supplement. I'm laying it out right here, man. All right, this is back to the basics. And I've made a series called God Mode that you guys can uh, go check out in the playlist. It's kind of old. I don't even remember what I said in there, but I know that it, it had the basics. Okay, what else is basic that seems overwhelming at first, but not a lot of people want to do? Eating whole foods and cutting out sugar. If you guys are drinking sugar, you have to stop that immediately. All right, sugar is going to make you go up like this, cause you to crash, spikes the insulin. It's eventually going to give you diabetes. It's going to make you fat. You're going to be have more estrogen. You're going to have a bigger gut. It's gonna, you're gonna be wondering why you can't lose weight. It's because you're drinking all these calories, you got, you're addicted to sugar, you feel weird when you don't have the sugar, so you just continue to consume it. And it's in everything, man. You gotta look at the packages. You gotta be wise. Okay, it says high fructose corn syrup right on the package. Guys, that's sugar. Okay, you can't have that. If it says fructose syrup, don't have that. If it says any kind of syrup, you shouldn't be having it. Simple, dude, don't, simple as that, dude. 
simple syrup, agave syrup. Don't even have honey, bro. Go a week without any sugar. And I know a lot of guys, the fruititarians are gonna come here, bro, eat fruit. I'm just saying, go one week. See if you can go without sugar at all. Because it's very addicting. Lights up the same, you know this, same reward pathways as cocaine or something like that. Okay, so instead of just thinking, oh man, I gotta, I gotta read all the packages and stuff, I can't have my macaroni anymore. I can't have my instant mashed potatoes. Look, what I'm telling you here is eat whole foods, single ingredient, nature made it, you know, mother nature made you this beautiful food and you guys are not eating it. And then you wonder why you wake up in the morning and you feel like a train hits you and it's hard to get out of bed. Stop eating flour that's white, all right? Flour is not white. Uh, the wheat is not white. You can't eat, that's like sugar. That's pretty much sugar. So stop drinking sugar and stop eating processed foods. Simple as that will change your life, guys. If you're serious about getting out of any any uh, of this poor mindset state, you gotta change your diet, all right? You gotta get in the gym. You gotta practice meditation. Uh, we could go into stuff like cold showers, which shock the body and get you used to being uncomfortable. We could say do that. Is it necessary to do an entire cold shower? No, you don't have to, but I recommend doing a contrast shower where you wash your body, you get off all your germs, clean your armpits, and then at the end, you turn it to cold water. I'm doing it, you can do it, guys. It's gonna toughen you up. It's gonna, it's gonna really make you feel alive, especially if you're doing it in the morning. You do it for 30 seconds to a minute, wash your hair, make your hair nice, and once you get out, you'll be like, man, any, uh, any tiredness that you had, it's, it's gone. We could talk about doing no fat, a basic semen retention. All guys should be doing this. I highly recommend that if you have a partner, you have a girlfriend, you need to not be busting nuts every single day. I know that the world's made it normal to bust a nut. If you're not fucking your girl all the time, you know something's wrong with you. No, man, it's nothing's wrong with you. Try, go, try having sex and not busting a nut and see how you feel. You'll feel good. You'll feel you, your testosterone. You'll, you're horny. Man, that horniness makes you feel alive, dude. You know, you bust a nut, once you're erect. And then when you bust, it's like you're drained. So I know, I know it feels great. Yeah, but if try, if you're addicted to the porn and you're just fapping all the time, you're weakening yourself, your mental, your mental, your spirit. You guys say whatever you want. Oh, I bust nuts all the time. Dude, it's just a basic thing. To try it, practice it, if it works for you, good. I keep doing it myself. All right? And uh, I'm not saying beat yourself up. But if you're addicted to porn, bro, that's ruining you. You're going you're gonna to be twisted up here. You're not going to be able to approach girls the same. You're going to have these different ideas. You're just a slave to porn, bro. It's gonna make you overthink everything. You start thinking your cock's too small and whatnot. It's like, look, get off the porn, bro. And then try to slow down on the fapping and, and busting all these nuts, okay? So that's that's really that. If you guys wanna do it, you can do it. Try a week challenge, it will go 30 days. Um, we got a new challenge coming up on Tuesday, or Monday, so tomorrow. Tomorrow, so tune in for that. Um, I'm trying to think of some other basic things that can really benefit your life guys. We all got to make money You know, so what are you doing to make money? Are you working a lot of you guys don't realize that it's very difficult to start like I know it's difficult to go in there and get a application To get an interview to show up to the interview to put some dress shoes on you guys if you're if you're Don't have a job right now go out there and get applications man people are hiring Especially these young men that show just an ounce of motivation to work. You guys can do it. Get your boots on and, and grab life by the balls, man. Go out there, get a job. There's literally nothing else that makes you feel more confident than having some money coming in. Knowing that you got enough food to put on the table. Knowing that if your mom breaks your leg, you know, you can drive her to the hospital. Your car's got gas in it. Like having some kind of money coming in frees you up. It lets you be more creative, 
and get out of that scarcity mindset. And so there's a lot of guys that just aren't working at all. They never had a job. All right. And they're just, they refuse guys like, okay, then sit at home, be miserable, be in your mom's basement and go on Reddit all day and look at all these politics and have all these theories and stuff. You're not doing anything to help it. You're mad at the Jews. You're mad at everyone. You think, you know, everything you got all the theory figured out, but you haven't actually applied it to life, man. It's easy to theorize. It's harder to get your hands dirty and go and let life teach you a lesson. Okay, you're just going to sit there, you're going to be miserable and angry, and at the end of the day, you're not doing anything. You're not helping anyone. You're not making your life better, and you're not getting to where you want. You want, all right? You're addicted to this anger. So it's up to you to take these small steps. Do the research. Stop researching the wrong stuff. Get off all, get off all the, the politics stuff, man. Get off all this nonsense going on. When I look out and I go into the real world and I talk to people, no one's talking about that stuff. So yeah, there's a time and place for everything, but man, fix up your life now. Take these small little steps. Do what I'm telling you. All right. Go get a job. If you need some money, your life will change. You think you're nervous to go pick up a girl. It's just because you, you don't have any money, dude. You have nothing to put your energy into. A lot of you guys, there, there's so many opportunities for you, you guys can be programmers. A lot of you guys spend way, you know, a lot of time on the internet, be a programmer. You guys want to uh, get in, make some commission, do try sales. People are hiring sales all over the place. Supplement companies, medical, computer, cars. Dude, starting cars. I did that myself. Made a shit ton of money. Made nearly $10,000 in one month. Changed my whole life. All right. I know life is not all about money, but when you don't got it, then it's all about money. All right. You don't got it. Then it changes. Everything becomes a little bit more harder and it, it becomes harder to progress. All right. So I want you guys to just put in that effort, do what it takes, get a job, work three jobs. If you need to, you got to make it happen. You got to get yourself out of that little rut. Okay. Um, and, and, and obviously you want to have the discipline to get yourself away from this damn camera, this phone that you have in there, the video games, you want to have some time back in nature to recoup with that natural, you know, that natural state of being that peace, man, We're, it's so easy to get consumed with the media and it's dangerous. And then the time just passes you by, man. You don't think cook for yourself, you know, try cooking for yourself. Go on no fap, take the cold showers, do these simple things. And don't think that your life is just going to change dramatically. No, you're, you're not, you guys got to realize like you can still be very unhappy and depressed. Once you do all these things, once you get a job and get money, you know, it's not a given just because you're doing something that's a little bit difficult. It's self-discipline. Doesn't mean your whole life is going to just become some grand adventure. No, you're still going to suffer. And you're going to be miserable. And uh, it's up to you to change your mindset about it. How do you look at it? How do you view it? That's why I'm saying this. Bring it back to that stoic mindset. Okay. You're not missing out on anything. You don't need a girl. It's a super hot girl. You don't need love right now, guys. You don't need any of that. All right. You need to learn to be cool with yourself, to respect yourself. That way you can really show genuine love. Like, I'm not saying just lovey-dovey kissing your girl and stuff and uh, buying her teddy bears and stuff. No, I'm saying real love. Like you can be a leader, bro. You can be solid when things go to, to a chaotic state. You can be grounded. You can handle things. You can be the man. All right. And that takes time. That takes patience. So don't get impatient. If you're scared, you know, move out of your parents' house too, guys. A lot of you don't want to hear the message I'm saying. You want these like... You just want to do no fab and things to get better. Move out of your parents' house if you're 21. If you're 18, prepare to move out of your parents' house. Your parents are going to be fine. Your parents are going to die. Okay, they're going to die. You got your whole life ahead of you. So, so are you just going to stay at your parents and become more attached to them? They're rubbing off on you. You're kind of, you're, your mom's got you, bro. If you're living with your mom and not your dad, your mom has got you locked up. All right, you don't know how much she's affecting you. The way she talks to you, these little ideas that she plants inside your head, you don't know how that's affecting you, man. And you gotta break free. 
And the thing is, you're like, oh, well, I might, I might die. Well, then you'll die, dude, if you go, if you leave. But that's a natural thing that happens. Everyone leaves the house. Every bird leaves its nest. You know, I think they do. But you've got it. You got to take action. It'll make your mindset grow up, man. You're like, man, I'm in control. I got to stop. It's time for me to grow up and be a man. I got to stop playing around, playing the games, goofing off, going to bed so late, not really holding down a job, not really taking things seriously. You got to become your own boss. And you do it, man. It's like you guys are stressing because you're not doing the simple one, two basic things. And then it's putting you all up here. So you're thinking a month ahead. You're thinking five years ahead. You're thinking like everything's going to go to shit. Focus on today. Do the basic things and life's going to get much better, much brighter. You're going to be happier. You're going to be able to handle things when they come up. All right. And uh, that's really it, man. Just back to the basics. One step at a time. I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace.